Jesus, <coughs> why God looking me? I'm still feeling pretty good because it's uh, going to be warm today. Um, so even though it's about 60 degrees down here, I felt like putting on one of my Hawaiian shirts. I love Hawaiian shirts. They make me feel happy. They make me like identify with, like find the inner happiness in myself. But I went with the blue because it's still, you know, cold, winter or cool anyway. And, um, you know, red is like more of a summer color. So folk art. <clears throat> I'm trying to talk George out of sniffing, huffing gasoline. Um, you know, we've been going on about this for a while now. And, uh, you know, you never get it out of your system because, you know, while it's there, you're going to be pissed about it. You'll talk about it a thousand times. There you go. So folk art, what's the real deal? Well, I know what the real deal is, and I'm going to tell you. I got to live out here in the country, and the old fellow that lived across the street from me, he worked at a seed store all his life, you know, or feed and grain place. And uh, uh, he was real sweet, and his wife, she uh, uh, came down with an ailment, I think kidney ailment and she passed away and and but that's beside the point the point is is that uh, one Christmas he came over and brought me something as a gift that I'm going to show you that proves what I'm about to say about folk art and here we go see this this is a Christmas tree He made it's about oh, I don't know 16 inches tall that that my neighbor across the street made out of old uh, uh, baby food jars that he turned upside down and he glued onto some cardboard that he covered the back with felt and he either made I don't know he got these little base this little base somewhere wood base I don't know and then so he made and he made this star out of wood or something cardboard wood probably covered it with red felt put glitter on the front and put the christmas tree light through it inside the baby food jars he put um like tinsel uh, foil tinsel off christmas tree and lights into the baby food jars in which the baby food jars are glued to aluminum foil this is cardboard in the back and this is amazing this is this is wonderful now you know any of us could just have done this I mean, because we thought it was fun, right? But the thing of it is, is that my neighbor just brought it over. You know, he didn't, he didn't sell it on eBay. He didn't go to a gallery and try to sell it. He didn't, the thing, what I'm saying here, what I'm saying here is folk art. People that buy and sell art, gallery people, they want, they they like to be the person that discovers the treasure. So how do they find the treasure? Well, you know, maybe it's that you put something funny in your front yard. And, you know, I don't exactly know what the process is. You know, how they drive around. They just drive around and look, you know, for funny houses or something and, and stop. I, you know, uh, I don't know what the process is all about. But they want to discover a person and their art and market it. Our problem is that we're just like my neighbor that built the Christmas tree. I mean, Jesus Christ, my stuff is, <laughs> you know, it, it makes, you know, it's not palatable like this. It's not, you know, it has, but it has the same sense of silliness to it. And how did I make that up? You know, I mean, I did good. <laughs> like, where does that come from? It doesn't, it just, it's you, man. Whatever your experience is, even if you went to art school, it's just you. Oh, well, so, see, here's the thing. If you're selling your stuff on eBay or you're knocking on a gallery door, you're marketing yourself, and they don't respect that. And now, you know, you've done this YouTube stuff, and, and you know, you've, you've done a few shows and all this, and you're like this made-up artist. Well, you're no trace to discover because you're marketing yourself. And, every, you know, so, and, you're, and you're making, up, you know, marketing is sort of like making up stuff. You, you know, you pick and choose what you want to put 
out there. But that's okay because you're picking and choosing pieces of yourself, you know. I, and I just don't, I, I just don't get it. Um, you know, so, well, I want to create this persona of, you know, hatchet man artist or, oh, woe is me, I never sell anything, you know, artist, uh, you know, whatever. You, I mean, but it's all part, comes out of you. So how can anybody say that you're, you're fake? Even if you copy somebody, you're not fucking fake. <laughs> you know, it's who you are at the moment. It just, it just kills me. Um, you know, but I can't change it. Nobody can change it. It's been, it's always been this way. But I think if you go to back to the psychology of just what human nature is all about, I think if you can't, if it's, well, everybody wants to discover like an old car, like this Jeep right here. Would they rather find it in a barn, you know? Nobody knew it was there. And, you know, even though it might cost you $18,000 in parts to fix the fucking thing, you found the treasure in a barn. Well, that's just stupid. You know, but that's the way we think. You know, that's the way I, I think. I went against my better judgment. I said, well, if I'm going to buy an antique car, buy one that's already done because somebody else has done all the work and spent all the money. But then I wouldn't have the experience of discovery and of doing doing the work myself and all that. You know, there's a lot of reasons there to do the other do it the other way. All the experience you get and all that. But you, you know, you just buy something and you drive it. Well, does that impress people? No, it doesn't. So. You know, if you're a gallery owner and running in gallery circles and, and you know, you just pick up somebody that's on YouTube, it's like, oh, well, I knew about him. The other gallery owner's going to laugh at you, right? You mean, or you feel that they will. <laughs> you know, they feel that they will. But if they find you somewhere and nobody knows you exist, well, glory. You know, they get a hard on over that. Pardon me. But it's just human nature okay so then they can stand there at the art opening and say well yes yeah, so i was just driving down this country road and uh there was a sign you know with a, out of roofing tin and it had nails in it and and when i bought by there's a trip wire and it set off fireworks and this guy has never been anywhere and look so now i have a gallery full of you know roofing tin with nails in it with fireworks going off burning holes in my ceiling Yay! <laughs> Man, I just think I burst something in my chest there. Yeah, take me up the front of that, Jesus.